Imagine if after a lifetime underground, you only had a few glorious weeks to live in the sun, eat, and mate, and then your butt fell off. I'm Anna Rothschild, and this is Gross Science. If you've ever been to the countryside in the eastern half of the U.S., you might have heard the buzz of cicadas in the air. And if you've seen my buddy Joe's video over at It's Okay to Be Smart, you know that some of these gossamer-winged singing insects called periodical cicadas are elusive. They only appear every 13 or 17 years, depending on the species. Baby cicadas spend their long childhoods deep underground. If they're lucky, they emerge after 13 or 17 years to spend their month-long adult lives drinking sap and procreating. But if they're unlucky, they could spend those precious days sharing their body with a fungus that eats them from the inside out. Uh oh. The fungus is called Mesospora cicadina, and it specifically infects periodical cicadas. Its spores lie dormant near the surface of the soil, waiting for cicadas to start tunneling out of the ground. Then the spores invade the emerging cicada's abdomen and begin replicating. And when the insects start looking for love a few days later, they spread the fungus from cicada to cicada cicada during their hour-long copulation sessions. Eventually, the fungus expands to such an extent that it splits the cicada's abdomen open, causing its butt to fall right off. Surprisingly, the cicadas don't seem to mind. They carry on as they were, flying around and attempting to mate, which allows them to spread the fungus far and wide. One student who wrote a great article about this called these mesospora-infected cicadas flying salt shakers of death. Wherever they go, they sprinkle the soil underneath them with spores, and there the fungus lies dormant, waiting for the next brood to emerge 13 or 17 years later. Now, just to be clear, there isn't a rampant butt-exploding epidemic killing off periodical cicadas. Far more of them die from predation, and habitat disruption is a much bigger concern for these species. But every time these elusive creatures emerge, some of them fly around buttless. Ew. What's the connection between cicadas and prime numbers? Check out Joe's video over at It's Okay to Be Smart. And if you don't already, subscribe to Gross Science. I've got a new video every week. Wait, one last thing. I'm going to be at VidCon this year, and if you're going to be there, I'd love to meet you. I'm going to be hanging out in the Chill Lounge from 2 to 4 on Saturday, along with a bunch of other YouTubers from PBS Digital Studios. So please, please, please come out, meet us. We would love to see you. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs>